When that geeked up hit though, Fabo, and it became an Atlanta classic, man. <laughs> Were you in that studio recording that <laughs> joint? Did you feel like you was laying down something that was going to get played forever? Man, I was just mad. <laughs> get out of here, man. I was mad, bro. Like, I was mad that morning, and uh, I went in there and wrote that song or whatever. It was kind of just straight freestyle. I think I just wrote the hook. And the hook was just going on and on at first. Just, I got to see my doctor, Scott. It didn't have to geek up in it. And uh, I went back in with Barry. Yeah, that, uh, did the whole Diablos uh, project. Shout out to the Diablos. Yeah, you know. And uh, I uh, went over there with Barry, and Barry put the dun, 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 boom, boom, and dropped the bass in there a little bit deeper, and it came my key, the key. You know, they just came out. What goes through your mind though? Did you expect to be able to perform that song for life? Man, I, I was just giving one of my experiences. That's it. That's all I was thinking about when I was doing the song. I, I wanted to be real. You yeah. know what I'm keep up. I can't see all the walls keep looking at me. You know, oh. just just it is it was what it was at the time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> nah, but I mean, you know, I uh I, I my homeboy club bro, Yeah. Who I one of my partners right now, best friend. And uh I mean, I met him just like that. I'm on the road with D4L. He was like, yo, you got this song called, you know, Geeked Up. We I, the album went out, yeah. He yeah. just heard me, heard a security guard playing it. And he's like, yo, can I book you for a show? And I was like, for Geeked Up, you know. And uh, when I went to Club Chocolate, I think it was Club Chocolate, the club was lit. It was crazy. And that's how I knew it was It was one of them songs. But we was already jamming to it, though. We in the we in the spot late at night. This this on repeat. You? I had a slow version and a fast version. See there. See there. Now, <laughs> when you had to haul off and remix that thing, yeah, though, man, yeah, you yeah. dropped Jesus on it. Yeah. What was that like? I was in jail again. Oh, come on now, Fabo. I was in jail again. But, you know, when I heard the remix, you know, when I first got out or whatever, you know, they folk, his folk reached out to me or whatever. We got the, uh, we got it hooked up and uh, went down to Patchwork and put it together. It was straight. I exactly. mean, you know, that was dope. Fable, I got you. You know, that let, that let me know I was all right right there because I couldn't pay him. Exactly. I like, exactly. <laughs> I feel you that. wanna know if they gonna release it now? Nah. But uh, he was good people, man. Real good people, man. And the singer, the singer did wonders. Whew. Wonders. Now, when you look at what y'all brought to the game and to this Atlanta, you know, scene, what do you feel like it was that D Four L dropped in this thing, man? Oh, I mean, just basically the money era. Yeah, you know, the people was worried about making a whole project, trying to get a whole deal from a label and all of that. We walked up and got publishing deals, you know what I mean? Big publishing deals off the rip, you know, that was something new. You know, I, I know people was probably getting them or whatever, but not like we was getting them at the time. Uh -huh. The ringtone thing just basically changed the game to the point where you you, you, you only needed a single to jump off. You ain't got to go in here and work on the whole project. And I think that was basically the main contribution that D4L and other artists at that time, you know, contributed to the situation. Yes, sir. You know, we made it where you ain't had to go work for a whole year and then you your album might not be what they want it to be. And, yeah. You know what I mean? And then you get put on the shelf. You had some people that just sat on the shelf at that time. You know, you'd be like, yo, why they ain't put your album out yet or whatever? You knew some of these cats or whatever. They had their little money or whatever, and then it run out. Yeah. So, you know, I think that was the single aspect, waking up every day seeing that, get your jams to ringtone, boom, boom, boom. Everybody trying to get them on their phone. So, yeah. yeah. So, single-handedly, I think, you know, our era changed the way you looked at music. Now you just make a single. Come on now. Which I think ushered in the streaming, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Radio Shouty. Shouty.